Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar. We'll have a look at the various computer models, have a look at the GFS, the GM, the ESMWF, the GFS and ESMWF ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office model, we'll have a look at the 5 day precipitation and temperature. Now we have been talking about the possibility of seeing some easterly winds and that is now going to be happening over the next few days. Not going to be anywhere as near as cold as potentially we were hinting at a few days ago. It's going to be chilly. We're going to be seeing overnight frosts. And in the daytime, it's only beginning to be getting to around 5 to 7 degrees over the next few days. Feeling colder than that uh, in the south and the east. Beyond that, though, we continue to see this high pressure hang around. And it just like potentially... We could be seeing some very variable conditions throughout the next couple of weeks. There's the potential to go very cold, but also the potential to go very warm as well. Skadzaven High is going to be holding those weather fronts and those low pressure systems out in the Atlantic. And it could potentially bring a squeeze um, of the isopars, bringing up southerly winds. And we're seeing hints of that potentially on some of the models today. And we'll have a look at that in more detail. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you do have a look at the live radar, you can see for the vast majority, it is pretty dry and it's pretty pleasant. Chilly, but pleasant. You can see though, in the east, uh, especially across East Anglia, North East England, down into the South East, we do have precipitation. Now this is the weather front that had been moving through for the last sort of two days and because it's being squeezed by that high pressure building over the top and to our north it has um, just sort of lingered really bringing light to moderate precipitation and a lot of thick cloud. We're seeing a lot of showers and this weather front had been progressing eastwards and northwards but as the high pressure built to our north it's sort of been trapped in a little bit of a lull and it's now moving further southwards and westwards now moving um its direction and that uh, is going to continue to bring in some showers and some cloud and it's going to give, keep those temperatures down as well it should fizzle out very slowly um and i'm not expecting anything too significant but it is going to feel pretty miserable under that unfortunately but as i said the vast majority though it is pretty dry and we should be seeing some sunshine even though it's going to be pretty chilly so we do now have a look at the gfs run and you can see that high pressure building over the top at the moment you can see that weather front is in this little trough that is getting filled uh i.e the pressure is rising so it's reducing its intensity but it is still there over the next few hours you can see it is slowly drifting away and by sunday into monday we are firmly under higher pressure the south though have got this easterly flow see the upper temperatures getting getting down to minus five at 850 hpa which is going to give temperatures in the mid single figures overnight frost as well low dew points is going to feel chilly now the cold, bitterly cold air that is over Scandinavia and Russia is going to be heading into Europe. But it doesn't look like it will be heading toward the UK. We were seeing hints of that a few days ago, but not anymore. You can see we stay under the high pressure with the coldest air in the south. Further northward, still chilly, but not as cold. And we're just going to stay pretty dry into the middle of the week before we do start to see weather fronts trying to push in and off the Atlantic. This could bring precipitation to the west of the UK. Beyond that, we do see low pressure trying to push in, but it's this high pressure to our east that's holding on. Now, you can see the variable conditions across Europe. We've got bitterly cold air in from the Arctic across Eastern Europe. Unfortunately, down into parts of the Ukraine, which uh, could cause some issues there um, with their situation. That is ongoing, unfortunately. But then you've got real mild air trying to be pumped in from the southwest. And this high pressure is trying to block both of those out. Now you can see for the UK, we start to bring up southerly winds. We got weather fronts out in the Atlantic with low pressure trying to bring precipitation and cooler air in. But we've got a wedge of milder air. And this is bringing up southerly winds. Now, if we did see this continue, as we'll see with uh, the GEM mod, mod run, which does go pretty mild and warm perhaps, you can see we do squeeze up milder air from the south. But on this latest GFS, we just see these sliding lows that could bring quite a bit of precipitation, not getting us particularly mild, generally around average. And right towards the end of the run, we actually see the jet stream divert further southwards. If we have a look at the pressure charts, see it diverts southwards, and we do stay pretty chilly with these diving low pressure systems. And it's all because of this block to our east distorting the jet stream trying to hold it off and you can see right towards the end of the run we stay close to high pressure 
pretty dry um, and pretty chilly as well if you look at those upper air temperatures. Not massively cold, but not massively mild either. So very variable conditions coming up. Could be seeing some milder, warmer weather, but at the same time, quite chilly weather as well. It could be dry in the east for quite a long period of time, whereas the west could see a lot of these weather fronts trying to in introduce um, wetter conditions. And it's going to be quite a, uh, quite a big mix over the next couple of weeks, though. It does look driest in the east, um, close to the high pressure system, but also coldest as well. Now, as I said, if we have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare over the next 10 days. You can see the high pressure building in at the moment. And we do see that high pressure trying to hold on into the middle of the week. And we do start to bring in southerly winds with this low pressure out in the Atlantic. You can see that where that black line is, the sort of division, where the jet stream is. The division between mild, um, wet, windy weather out in the Atlantic and drier conditions over Europe. And if you look at those upper air temperatures, we are pulling up a southerly wind. Potentially quite mild conditions moving in. We do see a shot of pretty warm air, potentially. At day 10, getting up to around 5 to 10 degrees at 850 HPA in the summer, that would be giving temperatures in the low 20s, mid 20s perhaps, with the right conditions, maybe mid to high teens potentially with this. Um, and if we do have a look at the temperature deviation, you can see a good 4 to 6 and maybe 8 to 10 degrees in a few spots, higher than average. And you can see it's squeezed between much colder air out in the northeast Atlantic and much colder air across southeast Europe. Um, and you can see it's leaving a sort of a cold pool behind across parts of North Africa as this milder air is pumped northwards. And this could be something we see as a result of this Scandinavian high. Again, it's all down to the orientation. Same as whether seeing basically cold easterly winds, it's all down to the correct orientation. But we're seeing hints of it perhaps in the sort of 7 to 10 day time frame. But of course... It hasn't got massive support at this stage, but still, uh, it is a possibility if you are looking forward to maybe some drier, maybe warmer, very uh, spring-like conditions, perhaps, with this. Now, if we do have a look at the e similar air front, see how that does compare. Again, uh, if we have a look at the 500 HPA um, pressure charts, now you can see high pressure building in over the next uh, sort of day or so, bringing in easterly winds in the south. Low pressure trying to slide in, and it actually does make pretty decent progress for the middle of the week with weather fronts pushing in off the Atlantic, and we do generally see southerly winds starting to develop. Now, if we do have a look at the upper air temperatures, you can see we do start to put in some milder air, but not massively mild, and we generally stay a sort of in-between weather system. We've got big low pressure systems spinning up with this bitterly cold air towards North Africa, remnants of uh, winter there, and then you start to get some real warm air in the Azores high, spinning up these lows, but it's coming up against the Scandinavian block um, you can see up there. So very variable conditions here. I've got a bizarre setup, really. Scandinavian high, not bringing us anything majorly cold, but could be bringing some chilly conditions over the next few days, and then it could be going potentially milder, maybe in the longer term, but in between that, when we see weather fronts trying to approach, it could get quite wet and windy in the west, um, as that high pressure halts the progression of the weather fronts, turning things, uh, or stalling those weather fronts, perhaps, um, bringing uh, wet and windy weather, maybe in the west. But as I said, all down to positioning and the strength of the high pressure uh, block over Scandinavia. So if we now have a look at the ensembles and see what they're showing, you can see generally, cold over the next three or four days then we see temperatures rise significantly back to average and it sort of stays around or maybe slightly below average for the foreseeable future and that's all because of the Scandinavian high building in a bit of a continental flow which will be milder and colder at times depending on exact orientation and you can see some of the ensemble members have bitterly cold air coming in and some have really milder air coming in in the longer term and as i said all down to the high pressure positioning um, and we're not going to really be able to tell that for certain until sort of three, four, five days out. So very uncertain in the longer term, because uh, although the pressure pattern looks pretty bang on from all the ensembles um, and the, 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 the operational runs, they all look very similar. There could be very drastic differences at the surface simply because um, of small, subtle changes that can give uh, big differences to our day to day weather. You can see there is also an increased amount of precipitation signals, and that is because of those weather fronts sliding in off the Atlantic and stalling. Not being massively intense low pressure systems, but a lot of 
uh, sort of dark, gloomy, potentially weather with precipitation moving in as uh, as those weather fronts do approach, you get trapped under the higher pressure. Going to be worse in the west, though, definitely. Um, if we do have a look at those pressure, sea level pressure, you can see it does lower in the longer term. High pressure is still influencing us, but potentially lowering as we see those weather fronts push in. So high pressure is going to be controlling our weather, but it does look like at times we will have low pressure over the top, um, bringing us maybe some more gloomy weather. But it is, those sort of weather patterns are looking likely in the 7 to 10 day time frame where it could still change. For the next 5 days though, it does generally look pretty dry. Now if we do have a look at the ECMWF ensembles, see how that does compare over the next uh, the next couple of weeks. Now you can see generally cold at the moment, then we turn to around or maybe slightly above average on the ECMWF runs, some going very mild indeed in the longer term. But as I said, there is a lot of variation, some going bitterly cold, bringing in that air in from Russia, others are staying very mild. Uh, so it's very difficult to say at the moment, but it doesn't look like anything majorly uh, extreme is coming up over the next couple of weeks. Average conditions, we'll see some spring-like sunshine, but we'll also see some probably miserable, gloomy rain as well at times. And of course, we'll see a bit of a wintriness with overnight frosts and maybe a few wintry showers for some uh, at a few points. So yeah, not looking too bad but not looking amazing if you are looking forward to some milder, warmer spring-like conditions. So now have a look at the five-day precipitation and temperature from the UK Met Office run. Now, you can see the precipitation east is slowly fizzling away over the course of today. We're going to see a few showers push in overnight tonight, but nothing too crazy as we do see that easterly wind. And you can see further northwards, we're seeing that cloud break through Sunday. It should be a pretty decent day. Chilly, but a decent day through Sunday evening into monday we still see a lot of precip a lot of cloud around for some but still plenty of clear skies and for tuesday still dry and sunny but we start to see those weather fronts potentially encroaching in from the west bringing cloud and outbreaks of rain you can see not massive thick um intense weather fronts simply because um it's coming up into the high pressure fizzling out but it still could bring some rain and a lot of gloom and that's something we need to keep an eye on over the next week or two now if we finally have a look at the max temperatures now you can see this afternoon we saw temperatures rising to around six to eight degrees around or slightly below average tonight widespread frost further northwards and westwards looking pretty chilly but further southwards we have more cloud still cold two to four degrees and feeling colder with the easterly flow and tomorrow it's going to be a chilly day five six seven degrees maybe eight degrees max and it's going to feel a good few degrees below that maybe only feeling like two or three degrees for some especially further eastwards with uh, eastwards and southwards with the chilly easterly flow now beyond that through sunday night we're going to be seeing a widespread frost pretty much for all areas across england wales scotland and for many areas across ireland but we are seeing some cloud push in, so that may halt that frost. So temperatures going down to around freezing through early hours of Monday. And then through Monday afternoon, cold day again, maybe 5 to 8 degrees, maybe an isolated 9 degrees there. Tuesday, another widespread frost. As I said, likely we're going to see temperatures drip down to a couple degrees below freezing. And then Tuesday afternoon, widely again, 7 to 10 degrees. And Wednesday, another overnight frost for a few overnights, but as I said, more cloud and some milder air pushing in from the west. Temperatures 11 to 12 degrees on Wednesday and not getting too cold through Thursday early hours either. So very mixed over the next couple of weeks. We do have this Scandinavian high that's going to bring some more settled conditions, at least for a time. But as I said, if it gets into that orientation, it could bring some milder, warmer spring-like sunshine from the south. Or it could also halt the approach from the weather fronts in from the west, stalling. Uh, the precipitation and maybe turning things quite drab and gloomy in the west but at the moment that possibility is staying in the mid range we haven't seen it come into the short term, short term range like I, the next five days so i wouldn't worry about it too much for now i go out enjoy the sunshine and the dry conditions we have over the next few days especially if you're in the north at the moment and in the south it'll arrive by tomorrow um, it will feel cold but it, it will be pretty pleasant out there so anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.